Welcome to another video from Gui Lao 60. Spreading hate on any medium may make you liable. Liable. Let me let me explain this. Donald Trump in 2021 got sued by the Chinese American Civil Rights Coalition for 22 million dollars. And what did Donald Trump do? He referred to COVID-19 as the China virus. Spreading hate. This is considered spreading hate. When you blame somebody, when, when you incite uh, violence against other people, that's spreading hate. It's taking away their enjoyment of life. It's making their lives more dangerous. Okay, so anybody out there with a forum, and yes, I'm talking about YouTubers out there. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers. Yes, only YouTubers because that's the only forum that they really go on. Uh, but they, they're spreading hate. They're spreading hate. They not only call it the China virus, they call it the Kung Flu. They, they uh, tell people that Chinese cops can't swim. They tell people that Chinese girls are easy. They tell people all these different things, spreading hate and misinformation about the Chinese people. But it's not just the Chinese people. It's all Asian people. And as, as you can see around the world, hate against Asian people is on the rise. Violence against Asian people is spiking at this time. It seems like it's politically correct to hate on Asian people. But it's, it might be politically correct, but legally it's not correct. And you can be sued for it. And I'm talking to you guys out there, the Chinese American Civil Rights Coalition, the Chinese American societies, the, the Chinese British societies, the Chinese Canadian societies, uh, Chinese Taiwan societies out there. Listen to this video and if you know somebody in one of these societies, send the link to this video so that they can watch it because without them getting off their ass and doing something about this online hate that's being spewed all over the place with some YouTubers having just about a million subscribers. So they're talking to a million people out there. They're spreading hate to a million people. Think about that. Some of these people spreading hate in the United States are not even American. So somebody comes from a different country, say South Africa, and comes to the United States and starts spreading hate against you, your children, your parents, your friends, your community, and they're not held accountable. Who's not holding them accountable? You're not holding them accountable. Your societies should be getting together and saying, we've got to stop this. How do you stop it? Well, it's easy. These people only do it for the money. If there was no money in it, they wouldn't be doing it. They'd be doing something else. So if you sue these people, if you tie them up in litigation because they are spreading hate against you, your parents, your children, your community, they will stop. They will stop dead in their tracks because they don't want to lose everything that they've worked for over the last 15 years. And when these people tell you that they love the Chinese people but hate the Chinese government, uh, think where that's coming from. Are Chinese girls easy? Chinese cops can't swim? You know, how does this have anything to do with the Chinese government? It's, it's just one of those things. And when you sue these people, because I'm pretty sure that sooner or later, these guys are gonna get sued because they're spreading hate. When you sue these people, they will play the victim. They will say that, oh, these people are attacking us. These people are doing this to us. Why me? What did I ever do? I was just trying to help the Chinese people. That's not true. Everybody knows it. Chinese hate can be spewed on the internet through YouTube, through Vimeo, through whatever forum, platform that you want. And it's very specific. It's geared at Asian people. It's geared at Chinese people. And uh, these people, they may play the victim, but the only victim here is the people that are being targeted for hate 
in the United States, in Great Britain, in Canada, because of these people spreading it, because they're spreading hate that could impact your children at school. They may even bring it to your attention that, well, my wife is Chinese, my children are half Chinese, so why would they spread hate against their children and their wife? For money, of course. These people, if they didn't do this, they would have to go out and get a real job. A real job doing real work instead of spreading hate against your community. So when you see this stuff on the internet, and you know who I'm talking about, there's, there's a number of them out there. You know who I'm talking about. And it's, it's this simple, guys and girls. You issue a statement of claim and a summons to appear. You serve it on one of them. They have to appear in court. If they don't, you get a default judgment and uh, then you can garnish e their Patreon account, you can garnish e their Google LLC account, but make sure when you sue these people, you make sure that you sue the right entity. If you're going to be suing the person, make sure the person is the one that's getting the money from the Patreon account and from the Google LLC account because they could have corporate made a corporation. And if they made a corporation, well then that corporation would have to be named in the legal action also. All right, so that's fine. How do I find that out? Well, you subpoena. Okay, well, you, you ask for a subpoena uh, at, at a case conference management, pretrial conference, whatever you want to call it, in, in whichever district or ju jurisdiction you're in, the United States or Canada or Great Britain or whatever. Okay, so the, the judge will issue a, a subpoena so that you can get this information so that you can sue the right entity because suing the wrong entity is just a waste of the court's time. They don't like that. So uh, once you find out who it is that, that you have to attach to, uh, it's easy. You sue them, you get a judgment against them, uh, they'll have to go to court. They'll have to defend themselves rather than you defending yourself and your children on the streets, defending um, against Asian violence on the streets of, say, Los Angeles or San Bernardino or San Diego. You know what I mean, Southern California? Now, they are defending themselves. Why are they defending themselves? Because they were spouting hate. They were spreading hate about your race, about your community, about your family, about your culture. The people that came from China have a culture. They're attacking that culture. Okay, well, th that's fine. So now you get a judgment and you garnish all of their, their, their money. Now what do they do? They got to go get a job uh, or or they have to change their tune from spreading hate to something else. And you see, that's the, the bottom line about doing something like this. Making sure that other people out there understand that if you do this, if you spread hate, there are organizations out there that will make you responsible for what you're doing. And then other people thinking about doing the same thing won't do that. What a concept. Why didn't anybody else think of this? What's going on? But you see, the Chinese American Civil Rights Coalition already thought about this in dealing with Donald Trump. Suing Trump, he's got resources coming out of his yang, suing the American government because it's politically correct to be anti-China. Okay, in the United States. Uh, suing the government is difficult, but suing one or two people that are on YouTube. That's pretty easy markings, boys and girls. Uh, they have to defend themselves. They have to defend everything that they've ever said against China and the Chinese people. Holy smokes, now there's a bag of worms, isn't there? I noticed when I was doing some research on this video that one of these guys actually made like a 49 minute video um, trying to convince his viewers that it was okay because the, the, you can call it the China virus, you can call it the Kung Flu, you can call it all of this stuff because German measles, Zika flu, Spanish flu, you know, uh, you know, making excuses. He knows what he did wrong or else he wouldn't have made that video. Exactly. Uh, so these people already know that they're doing something wrong. There is ill intent there. There is ill intent and they know about it or else they wouldn't have made or this one guy wouldn't have made a 49 minute video trying to convince people his viewers that he wasn't being racist but but it's not up to him it's not up to his viewers 
It's not up to you and me. We can say right, wrong all we want. You know who you got to convince? You got to convince the judge. The judge will make that determination. And I said this to a lot of people. They said, well, I didn't do that. It wasn't me. That's not right. I said, well, you know, it's not up to me. It's not up to you. It's not up to anybody to make that decision. We'll wait for the judge to make that decision. And uh, that's the bottom line, guys and girls, is uh, if you're spreading hate on YouTube, if you're spreading hate anywhere in a forum around the world, you can be sued. And I would imagine that after the Chinese American Civil Rights Coalition or other Chinese associations understand what I'm saying in this video, they will look at these people and they will start litigation and uh, that's exactly what should happen because if these people are making your life difficult, are taking your freedoms away, uh, are making uh, your lives more dangerous, your, your enjoyment of life is, is less because of these people and what they've been spouting around the world. A million subscribers and you're spouting hate? Hmm. Sounds a lot like uh, some far, far right racist groups that come to mind, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, think about this. Think about this really, really hard and uh, call your local Chinese associations, call your local Chinese civil rights associations and say, why haven't these people been sued? Why are they still spreading hate? Because you're allowing them to. You're letting them get off scot-free. Don't let them get off scot-free. Make them accountable for their actions. And then because, because they spread hate, they hide. Uh, they don't tell anybody where they live and they, they make videos about moving to places like New York and stuff like this. And, and uh, it's, it's basically all fake. So how do you serve that, that summons to appear? Hire a process server. These process servers, I know. I used to. I used to have a number of process servers when I was uh, when I was uh, in business, and uh, they can find anybody, anytime, anywhere. I guarantee it. If you get a good process server, he will be on them like shit on a blanket in a matter of a couple of hours, and uh, it's not very expensive. So don't try to do it yourself. Just hire a process server. They have. Um, let's say assets that they can access to uh, to dig up where anybody in North America or the world lives like seriously so issue a statement of claim and summons to appear hire a process server serve the person then they have to defend themselves in a court of law in civil court and uh, I would imagine the right price for spouting hate would be the same thing for everybody throughout the United States. $22 million. Sounds like a good round number. If they could do it to Donald Trump, why can't they do it to people that are not even American citizens on American soil spreading hate against American communities, whether they be Asian or black or Italian or whatever it is. What gives this person the right to show up on the shores of the United States of America and spread hate and make their citizens less safe on the streets, in school, at jobs. Think about that. Anyway, that's another video from Grey Lao 60. A rant video. Oh man, it's, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Anyway, that's another video from Grey Lao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And whatever you do, boys and girls, don't forget to put a couple bucks on the children's Patreon account. Christmas is coming. Thanks. Peace out. Bye now.